Remember, when you're throwing this, you're parrying the shoulders. That's where it should be. Should be there. There. There you go. Today's boxing and pad work drill is similar to a drill that I did in the past, but it's different. It's a little spin on the, uh, different on the hook. Instead of defending and counting the hook with a weave, we're gonna use a pivot. And instead of him jabbing and throwing right hands to the head, he's gonna throw them to the body. And the way we're doing this is when I throw a jab at him, and he's also gonna incorporate parries as well. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna parry, he's gonna parry my jab, and he's gonna jab me right to the body. Okay? Then I'm gonna throw a right hand at him, and he's gonna parry the left hand, the, my right hand with his left hand, and he's gonna go throw his right hand to the body. Okay? Now, when he parries that shot, okay, he's, he's deflecting. That's what, the, what we always, what I talked about in my other videos of why parries are so effective. When you, when you deflect the shot, then you're able to make the guy have a longer distance to recoil, okay? So he, and he's got, he's got to get his, he's got to get his rhythm back to be able to recoil that. So in the meantime, you're able to do different things. Well, here he's recoil, I'm, he's deflecting my right hand. I got to throw this left hook and now it's going to take me a little longer to throw that left hook because my body's been thrown out of rhythm. When I throw the left hook, Danny's going to pivot to his left. Now he's out. He took that angle and he puts himself out of the way of my left hook. My target is empty now. And off of that, he can come back with a right hand and a left hook, okay? So the way that's gonna look, a little slow, is he's gonna, he's gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a jab at him, he's gonna parry it, he's gonna go to my body. Then I'm gonna throw a right hand, he's gonna parry it, and he's gonna go to my body. Then when I throw the left hook, he's gonna pivot over and throw a right hand and a left hook, okay? So, a little faster now. So he's gonna parry, parry, it okay so you are this is really a good head movement and pivot and footwork drill as well as you really you're really trying to develop that anticipation hand-eye coordination as well when I when I throw that jab he parries it see what he did it deflected over that way he parries it now I throw the right hand at him parries it and then he steps out right hand left foot. good so when we can put it together a little faster we can go from this angle Pair a little. So he will be out of the way from my left hook. So my left hook will be the next punch, okay? Boom, boom, I'm throwing a hook. That's it. Now I'm turning as a pad guy, I'm turning a little bit so I can catch his right hand and left hook. Where it would be if I didn't turn on me, he's parrying here, he's parrying here, he's turning here, boom, bam, he's gonna hit me there. He's got that angle, okay? To hit me with the punch I don't see. And one more time with that, I'll show you that again. So he goes to the body. Goes to the body, I throw the left hook. See, my hook target is empty, he's over there, and he's hitting me there and there, okay? So, that's the way that looks. Now, I always like to give you guys a little bonus, and I give you a bonus with this, is that what you're learning from using parries is, when he jabs and he throws that, that and he blocks my left hand and shoves that jab into the body, then he does this one, and he does the same thing. He deflects me. And see, also when he deflects me, what does he do? He turns my core. So now he could bonus. This is the bonus. He could throw a left hook to my body. And then pivot out. Throw the right hand left hook. Okay? So the way it's working is he's, I'm throwing a jab. He's parrying it. Parries it. Hits me with a body shot. That's it. So a little faster. Looks like this. He's going there, there. That's it. Air, air. That's it. Now he can also, uh, you know, he's got that position on me. I, I love when you can throw a pivot. And like I said, if you have that shoulder trajectory that I'm always talking about, you're putting yourself in position to throw. Anytime you have a position that you're in position to throw a good strong right hand, you're in good position to throw a right uppercut or a right hook to the body. And he can throw like a shuffle punch uppercut to my body when he makes this pivot, if you watch, or he can throw a right hook to my body, okay? So you watch when he pivots, instead of throwing the straight right hand, he's gonna throw it to the body. He can go here, 
and go here, body, and then body again. That's it. Okay. A little faster. That's it. Really, where I'll be, my angle would be like this. I'm going. He's going to go here. He's deflecting me. He's coming here. Boom. See that? And he was. He'd be coming back to my head. So if you look at it from this angle. Good. See, and then he could always, he can always do all kinds of things. He could go to the body. He could throw four punches off of that. You know, you could throw, he could go here, here, the body. See, he could do it like that. If we did that real fast, we could do it like this. Just like that. So with that drill, the footwork, like I said, when he's pairing, he can also, it's like a slip jab, like I told you, it's all one movement. It's like when I taught the Mike Tyson uh, slip jab, when he parries me, he's gonna move both feet up and jab at the same time if he wants to cut distance, okay? Then when I, if I throw the right hand, do the same thing, he can get that angle. See, now he's, he's over there already. It's harder for me to hit him with the hook, okay? But what he's gonna do now, he can throw a left hook to the body like we talked about, and then he could pivot out. The reason he's able to get away with that just to go over it one more time, when he steps with that jab and he takes some steps, okay, now when he throws the, when I throw the right hand, he's parrying me. So it's, it, not only is my range, the timing of me throwing that left hook is gonna be off because he's parrying, deflecting my hand, and so now I'm gonna have a hard, longer time to be able to get him with that hook, okay? So because he has more time, he can throw that left hook to the body and then get out by the time I throw the hook. Okay, so that's the key. That footwork is, is key because when, he, when he's throwing a jab and he's stepping up, then he's throwing a right hand and he's stepping up. See, he's stepping both feet up. The left foot came first and the right foot. So now he's a little bit on this angle, me. The other, the other bonus of so why he's gonna be, have time before I'm able to get myself to throw that left hook to the head is because he parried it. So now he can throw that left hook to the body and then he can pivot out and throw. That's it. See? So that's a drill to take into the gym this week. Work it, and um, I'll see you guys next week.